Hello! Today's story is about plastic pollution. It's a really hot topic in the UK right now. I'll read the article through and then give a little more explanation. Let's go! Plastic pollution. Morrison's to trial 20p paper bags. Morrison's is introducing a reusable 20p paper bag as part of an eight week trial in eight of its stores. The supermarket chain will also trial increasing the cost of its reusable plastic carrier bag to 15p in a bid to reduce the plastic used by customers. Since the plastic bag charge was introduced, supermarket customers' bag use has reduced by more than 85%. Environment Secretary Michael Gove has set up a consultation on raising the cost of plastic bags in England. The Morrison's trial will take place across stores in England, Wales, Scotland and Gibraltar. The supermarket chain said reducing plastic was their customers' top environmental concern. But some retailers have warned paper bags also come with their own environmental challenges. Waitrose said it was not currently introducing a paper bag because it can take three times more energy to make a paper bag than a plastic one. The production of paper bags uses more energy and creates more CO2 emissions than the manufacture of plastic bags. But paper decomposes much more quickly, while plastic can remain part of the environment for hundreds of years, causing damage to animals and marine life. What does your supermarket charge for plastic bags? The cooperative Marks and Spencer and Sainsbury's charge the minimum 5p for a carrier bag. Tesco charges 10p for its cheapest reusable bag, while Aldi and Lidl charge 9p for a similar product. Waitro says it's replacing its plastic fruit and veg carriers with a home compostable alternative by spring 2019, and it intends to remove its 5p carrier bags from circulation. The 20p US style paper carrier bag has handles and a similar capacity to a plastic carrier bag. In June last year, Morrison's reintroduced small paper bags for loose fruit and veg, which cut out the use of 150 million small plastic bags every year. The retailer added that removing 5p bags from its shops and replacing them with 10p reusable carriers reduced bag sales at the supermarket by 25% in 2018. History of the plastic bag charge. The 5p charge for plastic bags was introduced first in Wales in 2011, then in Northern Ireland in 2013, before Scotland introduced the charge for all carrier bags in 2014, and England rolled out its plastic bag charge on 5th of October 2015. All retailers in Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales have to charge a minimum of 5p for a plastic bag. In England, only retailers with more than 250 employees have to charge customers for the use of plastic bags. Retailers are expected to donate the 5p charge to charitable causes. In 2014, 7.6 billion bags were given away to customers at England's seven largest supermarkets, the equivalent of 140 per member of the population. Between 2017 and 2018, just over a billion bags were sold at major supermarkets across the UK. A new consultation could see the charge imposed on smaller retailers by January 2020, and the minimum charge increased to 10p for one plastic bag. Smaller retailers in England supply about 3.6 billion single-use bags annually. OK, let's talk about it. Morrison's is a big supermarket in the UK. Plastic has been a really hot topic in the UK since David Attenborough's nature documentary Blue Planet. The documentary highlighted how much plastic waste was making its way into the ocean and harming marine life. David Attenborough is a real national treasure. 
People in the UK really listen to David Attenborough's concerns and want to use a lot less plastic. Even before the documentary, people were starting to be concerned about the use of plastic and the government created a law which meant that supermarkets had to charge money for plastic bags. This was really successful in reducing how many plastic bags we used and threw away every year. When the law was first introduced, it was really big news and lots of people didn't agree with it and didn't like being charged for the plastic bags and didn't have any concern about using plastic. After seeing the success of the project and maybe after seeing David Attenborough's Blue Planet, people understand a lot more and don't mind so much the concept of paying for a plastic bag. In the UK, it's not just plastic which is a hot topic, but also climate change and greenhouse gases. That's why people are concerned that switching to paper bags might actually increase greenhouse gas emissions and have a negative impact on climate change. Here we see a lot of the UK supermarkets. In the first point, Asda, Co-op and Sainsbury's are known for being quite cheap, whereas Marks and Spencer is an expensive supermarket. Tesco, Aldi and Lidl are also cheap supermarkets. Waitrose is an expensive supermarket, more like Marks and Spencer. I really like what Waitrose are doing, but perhaps their customers have more money to avoid using plastic. Morrison's is quite a cheap supermarket, so it's really great to see them leading the way in reducing plastic use. The history of the plastic bag charge. This makes me laugh because it's so boring. However, it was really big news in the UK and it was surprising how big the reaction was to the simple change of charging 5p for a plastic bag. The success of the project is seen in the statistics at the bottom and it's interesting to read how we may even go further in our attempts to reduce plastic use. Okay, I hope you enjoyed reading about that and learning why it's so important to English people and why it's in the UK news at all. I'd be really interested to hear your views on it and what plastic use is like in your country. If you like the channel, please hit subscribe at the bottom. If you'd like a lesson with me, just follow the link in the description. Hopefully see you soon. Goodbye.